THC, you know, yeah, it's a straight CBD. Okay, yeah, because that's a problem, like, the rare form can't be getting that. No, you're not going to test it. Okay, yeah, you're good. Yeah. Then, like, getting it sent over there in the mail and stuff would be a headshot. Yeah, I know. That get in trouble. No, 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 you're good. No, you're good. Appreciate it. Um, just throughout the, throughout the year, I don't think I'm good. <laughs> just throughout the years, back home. I like Asian food, though. It's East Asian food. What's the secret? How do you believe in your food? Because I saw your truck for me. You're mine. You're mine. Seriously. Uh, I didn't do anything much different besides training with my coach more. The diet was pretty much the same, but I started meditating. I started getting massage therapy. I started doing yoga. Like, that stuff right there is, you believe it or not, bro, it, it helps. You know what? Yoga. Meditating every morning, five minutes in the morning. You just find out you're, you, you, you put yourself on such a higher level that whatever you're going through, it becomes easy. Diet, dieting hard became easy. Training hard became easy because my mind was so strong. People don't talk about that, bro. Nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about the mental health part of bodybuilding. Yeah, it's such a, it's such a, yeah, it's such a big part in our physiques. Like, like stress. When you're stressed, your cortisol levels raise. Your body's affected by stress. So your body's gonna be affected by positivity also. You know what I'm saying? So if you stay positive, you got good energy, your body's gonna respond to that. I think that was a major difference in my physique. One more last question, Jen. Do you think all the time getting right, getting big, is it matter? You gotta figure out what works for me. I I didn't find out what really worked for me until like last year, bro, when I won Olympia. That's when I really Yeah, I remember the last uh, 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 last last show last time we came to Japan. Japan. We were talking about you switching to more fish. Yeah, more exactly. Yeah. Not really catch you. Not to so I, I'm it. still eating that. Still tilapia shrimp. Wow, it's okay. It's such a lean meat. Now, and, how, um, how many pieces of tilapia are you eat in a meal? Like eight ounces. Eight ounces of tilapia and eight ounces of uh, shrimp. Sure. Mm -hmm. When you're off season, when you're trying to bulk up, how many meals do you eat that day? Like six. six yeah, six, but a you're lot. Trying to pack on more size. Yeah, I put a lot more food, like potatoes. So I'll do like eight ounce potato, sweet potato. Okay. I'll do eight ounces of meat. But I've been even in off season, bro. I managed to stay conditioned yeah. and good shape because of the fish and the shrimp. Even when I had my carbs high, as long as I kept the fish and shrimp consistent every day, I was able to. My abs were still visible. Mm -hmm. I never got like too off. Too off. So try it, bro. Yeah. Fish and shrimp. Fish and shrimp. Fish and shrimp. Shit works. Now, how many meals do you eat post workout? Uh, it depends on when I train. Usually I train from like two to four. So after four, I'll get about three more meals in. Yeah. Yeah. Like three right. meals. Yeah. Okay. Sense. Including including a shake. I don't count meal uh, shake as meal. Yeah. I that's, that's additional. <laughs> yeah. How, huh? I mean, how are you going to kick this town that you have? Because, you know, he's such a motivation and yeah. having body and progressing. Like, <laughs> I've been watching you. I'm, I'm a steak watching you kick in my motivation. For sure. Yeah. Because he's kind of young. Mm -hmm. Mine is right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can kick in time. Yeah, I'm four more years. I've been seeing about it taking it. You know, take it either way. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to keep the gap far. Jump the gap. Yeah, just keep it. As long as I keep it far, bro, I'll have the title for a few more years. I can't let up. No injuries. Can't be injured. Yo, last year you lost your shows. Eight shows. Eight shows. Eight shows. <laughs> You know what he says on one of his interviews, he said before he won the Olympia, his mind was even over the Olympia. He saw himself really far before yeah. he gets there. Before. <laughs> Olympia actually is just like a starting point, like he's just getting started. Man. For so real. for some yeah. guys, that's where they're going to end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It makes a big difference. Well, I, for I me, it's where I started. <laughs> we just got started. Exactly. So you're from New York, right? Chicago. Chicago? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Got to order those big wave socks coming in, too. You ordered it? Yeah. Oh, shit. I got mine. We got them here, bro. You got here? This is outside. Oh, shit. You already ordered it? Yeah. Damn, we could have just given it to you right now. <laughs> I mean, I'll take some. That's how I'm a fuck. Yeah, there's a. We got my mom and dad are at the booth outside. Oh, okay. What, what is it? The only, um. A thousand yen? Oh, because it's like 10 million outside. Yeah, it's 10 million. What do you get? 
This is a uh, really good way of socks. Yeah, yeah okay. socks. Yeah, I sell socks. I'm a sock guy, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a good company to start. Okay. I just try to do do what everyone else doesn't do, bro. Yeah. Like I sell braces. Nobody does that. Yeah. Hey